Good morning. Everyone who's in the internship program, please follow me to the back entrance. We'll provide you all with uniforms. Once everybody's dressed, we'll get to work. When you're done there, could I ask you to take the trash out? Oh, hey, uh, morning. You uh, look good in that uniform. Forgot you chose this place too. Uh, yeah, so I guess we both picked the same place for the internship program. You're already a step ahead of me, though. I overslept like hell. Uh... Oh, damn it. Oh, I really screwed this one up. Coming in late on my first day, they're gonna be so pissed. I know a guy who works here. He said the manager's a real hard ass. Man, I really don't want to go in now. What do I do? You'll come apologize with me? Dude, you're the best, man. No, 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 wait. Even if you back me up, I can't just tell them I overslept. Wait a minute. I could just pretend I was here all along. Put on a uniform and stroll in like nothing happened. I'll just say my stomach wasn't feeling so good and I was in the bathroom this whole time. So, uh, please, do me a solid. Grab me one of those uniforms and bring it out here. I'll treat you to any food you want. You can look at my homework, so please. Oh, come on, man, you gotta help me. Just hop on in there and grab it real quick. If you hide it under your shirt, nobody will... Oh, there you are. Working hard. Seriously? Why do I get stuck having to supervise two classes worth of students? I'm suddenly the young and spry teacher when it's convenient. Sorry, I shouldn't be complaining to students. In any case, it looks like you two are doing just... Uh... Hey, Tomochika, why are you still dressed like that? Wait a minute, don't tell me. Well, uh, you see, I may have slightly overslept. Are you kidding me? How many times did I tell you all to be here not a minute late? Jeez, first someone's skipping out and now this? Why does it always have to be my class? What? Somebody skipped out? Well, that's just terrible. Talk about a failure of a human being. So who was it? Don't you grin at me like you found a friend. More importantly, I sure hope you called to let them know you were going to be late. Uh, well, you see, I guess my schedule just didn't line up, so... Always call first when you're running late. It's common sense. Ugh, I'm definitely getting a talking to later. You're going to go apologize, right now. Wait, now? I, I need to gather my thoughts first and, um... And what exactly do you mean by that? You're not trying to find some way of getting out of this, are you? Uh... Are you even aware of all the trouble you could have caused? You left the team short-staffed. The manager's probably worried. If this were a real job, you'd be fired on the spot. Now, go in there and apologize. Be ready to accept whatever punishment you get. Yes, ma'am. Not even in the slightest. But I'm the one who got myself into this. If it makes you this upset, you shouldn't have been late in the first place. Remember, when you apologize, try to explain how you'll improve for next time. It reflects on you better. And no excuses. Make sure you really mean it. You got that? Makes sense. Well, here I go. See you later. <sighs> Guess I should go put in an apology from my side as well. Oh, 
By the way, have you heard anything from Iori? I see. Ugh. The very least he could do is call out or something. Oh well, you should get back to work. Anyway, I'll be going now. Put on a big smile and show them how much you love working service jobs. Pretty good. I would have thought you've been working here for years. Oh, <laughs> I'm not looking to get on the wrong end of Ms. Toriyumi's death glare. My internship ended a little early, so I thought I'd stop by. <sighs> Looks like you're doing all right. Oh, it's nothing really. If you don't mind, uh, could we talk for a bit when you're done? Hey, manager says to take your break. Wait, what? Mochizuki's here? I see you chose this place too. Well, my internship ended a little early, so... So what? You came here to rub it in my face? You better not start picking up chicks in here. You are literally a chick magnet, you know that? Our sworn enemy. Oh, now that you're here, I'd actually like to get your opinion too, Tomochika-kun. About what? Lay it on me. We got time. Yeah, they told me to take a break too. Come on, this is our chance to chill. And don't even think about wiping tables. <laughs> you two get along pretty well, huh? I guess I'll go order something. You guys go ahead and find a seat. Hold on, the manager hooked me up with some nuggets. Let me go grab them. Not such a bad person once you get to know each other. Just kind of intimidating at first. I think this should be enough for the three of us. Nice, you know your junk food. Now this is what being a high schooler is all about. So, you wanted to talk about something? <sighs> well... It's about Junpei-kun. Yori? Are you guys doing the same internship? Yeah, we were supposed to, but he didn't show up. Until today, that is. I finally saw him, so we talked for a bit. Did something happen to him? Well, at first glance, he looks like he's goofing off as always. But it feels like he's forcing himself. I can see a hint of sadness when I look into his eyes. You know, Mochizuki, you're really starting to get on my nerves. Huh? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Why? You're that good looking, but you still watch out for your bros? You're too perfect. What are we even supposed to do about this guy? Anyway, I don't know what's up, but I guess even Iori's not immune to getting bummed out sometimes. Guess that shouldn't be surprising. No one ever said being a teenager was easy. Let's give him some space, yeah? He's got this guy living in the same dorm. That's a recipe for recovery for sure. He helped me a lot too. I'd probably still be moping around if it wasn't for him. So don't worry, I'm sure Iori will bounce back in no time. Yeah. Well, nothing more to do but take him to karaoke sometime. I'll let him know you were worried about him. Thanks, Tomochika-kun. Oh, crap, the time. Yeah, I gotta get back to work. I didn't even get to eat any of this. It's up to you now, Mochizuki. <laughs> I don't think I can eat this much. Uh, guess I'll go ask for a to-go box at the register. He's probably right. I'm sure Junpei-kun will be back to his cheerful self again soon. 
Especially with you around. You're his best friend, right? <laughs> I know I'm the one who asked, but I feel a little awkward hearing that. I have to admit, I'm a little jealous. I never really had someone like that before. <laughs> before? But what about now? Oh, uh, sorry. Don't mind me. Seeing Junpei Kun like that had me worried about you as well. But I guess you're doing just fine. It's just. <sighs> I don't like it. Seeing you. Seeing my friends in pain. Sorry, I didn't mean to drag this on so long. See you later. Good luck in the rest of your shift. Morning. This is Elizabeth. I am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. Two this time, I believe. Please swiftly and safely conduct a search and rescue. Goodbye now.
greatly appreciate it. Interesting. So this is what the interior looks like. It's smaller than I expected. Of course. Don't be ridiculous. Or so I'd like to say, but truthfully, I'm not that familiar. I saw a commercial for fast food once, but I didn't expect that picking it up with bare hands was the norm. Just goes to show how out of touch I am. My lack of knowledge on this subject is a serious problem. In all honesty, it's a good thing you're here. Is it actually profitable to sell these items at such low prices? I'd be interested to know the average cost per unit. Oh, sorry, I found myself lost in thought again. In truth, I didn't ask you here just to eat. I wanted to express my personal thanks to you. Right now, our strength and conviction are being tested to their limits. We've only made it this far because we've been blessed with each other's partnership. I know I've been asking a lot of you, even more than the others, but I truly appreciate it. I just wanted to make sure you knew that. didn't realize we were talking for so long. It would be rude to let the food grow cold. Shall we begin? Try to keep your chin up, Junpei. I know. So what you want? This came from the hospital. Is this... Jidori's sketchbook? They found it while they were sorting through her belongings. Ah. Um. <laughs> I know. I gotta snap out of this, but... It's just so hard. Hey, Junpei, can I take a look? Probably wouldn't understand her drawings anyway. What the? Wow, it's really good. This is amazing. Who wouldn't understand a drawing like this? Huh? What? It's. It's a detailed portrait of Junpei san. Junpei. <laughs> it's like she's telling me to stop moping around. Okay, I'm gonna fight to get rid of the Dark Hour. I'm sorry for all the times I snapped at you. I still hate to admit it, but... Just know I'll be counting on you.
marvelous. I'm looking. Here are my requests. Very well. Be careful. Out. What do you got? I've got some new things in stock. Check it out if you've got the time. Hmm? You finished? Come back soon. Well, could you have some new items prepared? Come take a look. So, what will it be? What would you like? Which one? So, what will it so? What so? What will it I'm sure how many? Oh, having second thoughts? I'm sure this will prove to be useful. How many? Have you decided? All right, I'll How many? Have you decided? We have a deal. How many? Did that we have a deal? Everything good? Hope to see you soon. Good to see you. What'd you bring? Well, look, as long as you need. That was your great. It's all yours. That was great. It's all yours. All right, then. Got some new things in stock. Check it out. If you got what'd you bring. Sure, sure. It's a deal. Okay. All right, I'll take that. Hmm? You can come back soon. I have a suggestion. a present.
Okay. We gotta keep moving. Do the trick. How about the trick? It's now face reality. Treasure chest. What should we do? There's a shadow. Excellent. Look. <gasps> oh, there's a treasure chest. Good job, everyone! 
A victory well earned. Now then, let's get back to work. Hmm? There's a treasure chest. What should we do? Oh, Two no. enemy ambush! Yourself. You can take them! Just stay calm! You think you can hit me? Nice reflexes, you party son! We can head up. I trust you're not tired. Then let's be off. Yeah. 
Now then, let's get back to work. Ooh, maybe there's something nice. We don't see that type of enemy often. Hey, isn't that one different? It'd be great if we can defeat it. All right, let's be on our way. Is that... Excellent leadership. Keep up the good work.
There's no room for carelessness. Stay alert. There's a shadow. This is so visually distracting. But let's try and keep an eye out for shadows. Continue exploring. It kind of feels like those feet. A 
lot has happened. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Regis is overriding, except I've completed registration. Are you finished? We look... Do the trick. I'll show you. <laughs> nice reach in this situation. Yes, yes. 
All of us are equal before the face of time. We should have known our place. Yurijo Senpai. on our way. where the stick the truth. 
trick. I'll show you! your health and stamina remember not to push yourself too hard
The enemy...
Just what we hoped for. Excellent. We I'm have the advantage. Up. It will take a little bit more time. Focused on the designs on the walls, doesn't he? Um. Treasure chest.
Appreciated. to regroup. Hey, doesn't that chest look kind of different from the others?
All right, let's continue exploring. With all of these lights? what we hoped for. Treasure chest. We found the stairs. All right, let's continue exploring. Oh, that reminds me. I have to wash Koro chan's clothes when we get home.
Somebody's been poisoned! Can someone fix it? Pull the trigger!
bigger. This should help. This doesn't look good. Yukari has been poisoned. Do you have an antidote? the trick.
strike. The strong one, be on your guard. I'll hit them where it hurts. Persona! requests. Let's hear the results.
The innermost power of the Hermit Arcana has been set free. We now bestow upon you the ultimate form of the Hermit within thyself.
away. Nice one. This room really is too small to practice in. <sighs> but come to think of it, I guess I don't have to practice in secret anymore. Although, I don't live on the first floor here, so I might be disturbing the people downstairs. Hmm. I chose a long weapon so I could match the reach of an adult. But then I learned that long weapons are actually better suited for tall people. I hit my shin again. Jeez, I hope I get taller soon. Oh yeah, where'd my milk go? <sighs> Maybe I should be drinking more milk. Hmm. It hurts my stomach sometimes though. <sighs> different beans today. I went to a coffee shop and bought some real ones this time. I made sure to store them in the fridge, and I only ground them right before brewing. I also learned you need to be mindful of how hot the water is, as well as how you pour it. Yes, I practiced with the cheaper beans from before, since I can't afford too many of the expensive ones. Although, it was hard to drink all that coffee, so I added a lot of milk and sugar. <laughs> well then, Let's drink, shall we? Cheers! Mm. Still really bitter. So bitter. But it's not only that. I could actually taste some of the sweetness and richness this time. The beans and brewing technique can make a huge difference, huh? Oh, and the smell was great too. I'm feeling a little nostalgic actually. Thanks for joining me. You can go on ahead. I'm gonna practice a little more to try and get the hang of this. Let's make some more if we ever get the chance. Oh. Uh, first, I gotta use the bathroom. I drank a lot while I was practicing today. So, in this section, Do you understand?
Interesting. So this takoyaki doesn't contain an entire octopus, but only a small portion. I mean, that does make sense. The entire creature would be far too large for a single person. <sighs> Sometimes my own ignorance truly astounds me. Seeing is believing, I suppose. Excuse me, um, one piece of takoyaki, please. What? Oh, they're only sold in multiples? How generous. So I'll receive an entire tray for this price. So it's filled with dice octopus. Interesting. Mm. There's a mild sourness combined with the chewy texture of the seafood. Quite flavorful. Mm. Are there other ingredients mixed in? In any case, it's quite good. C'est très bon. That reminds me, Akihiko once mentioned this place. Mm. Speaking of Akihiko, don't you think he's been acting differently lately? I can't place my finger on it. I've known him for quite a long time. It feels like something's changed. Maybe he's just maturing. Of course I'm happy. With all that we've been through, it can be difficult to get over what's happened in the past. But Akihiko is using his experiences to make himself stronger. I'm quite impressed by that. When I look at Akihiko, I can't help but reflect upon my own life. It's the most peculiar feeling. Anxious? Hmm. You may be right. Maybe a part of me is panicking because I feel like I'm being left behind. <sighs> Sorry, don't mind me. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Sorry to subject you to my thoughtless rambling. Just forget I said anything. Thank you. That takoyaki was absolutely delicious. We should eat here again sometime. just leaving oh hey there chilly out huh hope you don't go catching a cold you know i stop by here pretty often weird we never see each other well i'm out of here see you later later yoji was that yoji son yeah he said he was going home why was he here? To see Junpei. They've been hanging out a lot ever since the school trip. But the rules state that visitors aren't allowed here. Yeah, but Krija senpai said it's cool as long as no one stays late. I don't think we have anything to worry about. He is dangerous. Dangerous? Ryoji-kun? Come to think of it, he did hit on Mitsuru-senpai the first time he met her. But having him around has really helped cheer you up, Junpei-kun. Well, no point in dwelling on the past, right? Won't change a damn thing. That's true. Hmm? What's up, ai -chan? I'm fine. It's just... I envy you, Junpei. I'm a machine. So I don't understand what it feels like to live. Really? Well, you don't seem that different. 
In my case, it's more accurate to say that I'm operational as opposed to alive. There are times when I malfunction, but I can always be repaired. Well, if we were all like you, then we never have to worry about dying. Oh, crap! Uh, I don't have time to talk right now. I've got a mountain of homework. Serves me right for slacking. Oh, no use whining. Junpei studying on purpose? I guess he'll finally froze over. Well, better call it a night then. The gift of life is not something I should possess. A weapon is much more difficult to operate when it's alive. That said, I believe I understand the concept of loss. Leader, the thought of something happening to you, it makes me... Understood. You are very special to me. I can't explain why. I never want to leave your side. I want to protect you at all costs. To be there for you always. Ah, I apologize for keeping you. You must be tired. So much has happened in so little time. I'll return to my room as well. Good night. Yoji Mochizuki. He is dangerous. What is this unsettling feeling? I am a machine. I can't die. So no one will have to grieve for me. I have to do something. I don't want to see them suffer anymore. some spice today. Go ahead and blend it however you like. Oh, I always find this to be so relaxing. I suppose you could call it a moment of bliss. Let me know whenever you're in the mood for more tea. I'd be happy to treat you. <sighs> Hello, it's me. Sorry for calling so late. Now then, about the new arrival from the other day, I'd like to ask that you perform a full autopsy. If we find any distinctive features, we may be able to locate her family. Also, I can't help but think that the Kirijo group is connected to Strega in some way. Considering this, I think it would be disrespectful to sweep her death under the rug. And of course, I'll take full responsibility. What? What did you just say? <laughs> Transmogrified. The body? <sighs> but judging by the post-mortem, we were certain she was... All right. I'm sorry, but please keep this strictly confidential until we know more. If there are any other changes... Yes, absolutely. All right then. What is going on? I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens for now.
it. It's much. Good to see you. What do you got? One. All right. I'll take that. As long as you need. You gotta tell no Got some new things in stock. That was your all right then. What are you looking for? Great, okay, it's all yours. Great, okay, it's all yours. Uh huh. What'd you bring? Sure, I'm in. All right, I'll take that. Sure, I'm here. All right, I'm here. All right, I'll take that. You're sure, it's a deal. How many? All right, I'll take that. All done here? Be seeing you. Marvelous. I'm looking for. Of course. A shame. Are you accepting a request? Very well. Thanks for coming. Well... How do I put this? I suddenly just got this feeling that I'm running out of time. And I felt like I had to see you. I had to talk to you. Sorry. I'm not even sure what I wanted to say to you. So... I guess for today, I'd like to say thanks. It hasn't been that long since we met, but I feel like I've learned so much by spending time with you. I just really wanted to thank you for that. You showed me around the school and the city. I got to hang out with you and the others. I even got to go on a trip with you. That was a lot of fun. It's been a joy to experience and learn new things every day. Just like this. That's an interesting suggestion. I'm sure it'd be wonderful if we could play together. But maybe we'll save that for another time. 
when I saw those couples in Kyoto, or when I visited you guys at the dorm, I realized that's what it really means to build a connection with someone. It's that feeling of overcoming something together, and keeping each other going. Both sides need to come to an understanding. That's how connections are built, right? I want you to know that you're important to me. I know I said I wanted us to be friends, but... I actually want to be something more. What about you? I don't really get it myself, but I... Excuse me. Oh, it's you. Sorry, I hope I didn't interrupt. I was just passing through the hall, and I heard someone playing a beautiful song on the piano. So I thought I'd stop by to watch the performance. Who was the one playing? Was it you? Oh, I wanted to ask. It might have just been my imagination, but I thought I sensed Ryoji-kun's presence in this room. Were you not with him? Hmm? morning.
salir. You know, there's not much time left for us to spend like this. In just a short while, we'll be looking back on these days with nostalgia. No, I'm probably just tired. It's nothing you need to worry about. Since my father passed away, I've been faced with a number of complicated issues. My inheritance, the future of the Kirijo group, and the expectations of everyone involved with both. It's possible I won't be going to college or starting a career. I may need to walk a different path. Say, what does marriage mean to you? <laughs> That's a straightforward answer. However, I'm a Kirijo. I can't let my feelings tug me around when making these decisions. An agreement between two parties, such as marriage, takes careful consideration. My parents' marriage was arranged for strategic reasons. But as time passed, they slowly grew to honestly love each other. I don't think they were unhappy with their lives. Love can take many different forms. Am I wrong about this? Please, wouldn't you know if I did? We're living under the same roof. Besides, that's a bit... How do I say this? Romance just isn't my strong suit. <laughs> Looks like we ended up staying until closing time. Talking in the library. <laughs> I'm not setting a very good example as student council president. We should go.
only vegetables I ever see at the store are plain old ordinary ones. You know those fancy veggies only people like Carrillo Senpai would eat? If we could grow something like that, we'd make a fortune, don't you think? Oh, damn! So you're up for it? Yeah! We gotta dream big! You're pretty good with your hands, so what do you say? Wanna join forces and make a name for ourselves? Well, we should probably get to work before we get ahead of ourselves. Getting really rough on my back. Yeah, my hands are all caked in dirt. But for the sake of Junpei's brand name, Luxury Veggies, I gotta keep going. I don't know how I could deal with all this on my own, so let's do this again, okay? Looking for you. What are you doing here? I kind of just ended up here somehow. It's so strange. The sky and the ground look all weird. And there's no one around. <sighs> Something bad's happening right now. But for some reason, I feel at peace. Have you forgotten? What? This is the dark hour. Ordinary people shouldn't be free to roam about. You... You've adapted to it somehow. Too well for a human. Uh... I finally understand. That's why I feel this way whenever you are around. You are dangerous. You are... My enemy. Your... Enemy? Enemy. That's right. It was on a night like this, with a full moon. It was a long time ago. Yes, we've met once before. You and I were enemies. Who am I? Who are you? I am Igis, the last of the anti-shadow suppression weapons. I was created to destroy shadows. Created to destroy. And you. Your true name is Death. You are the shadow I sealed away ten years ago. Shadow?
I get it. I understand now. I remember everything. I know exactly who and what I am. Palladius! Don't be foolish, I guess. You can't win. I'm even stronger than before. The machine is created to serve a specific purpose. I will destroy you. That is my only reason for existing! It doesn't have to be that way, I guess. It's a full moon tonight. You did too, huh? Oh god. I'm turning into a workaholic. <sighs> Wait. Is something actually going on? We're not certain of anything yet, but we can't find Igus. What? Where could she have gone? At one point, I was able to sense a persona, but I lost Igus right after that. You sensed a persona? Could it have been Straga? Well, she hasn't detected any of them, but we can't be positive. I've pinpointed her location! The Moonlight Bridge! All right, call the others. Let's see what's going on over there. I'm sorry. I... I... remember everything. I remember who I am. Who he is. Leader, I know why I wanted to be by your side. I'm sorry. I failed. I'm... sorry. You have no reason to apologize. You? Ryoji-kun? Wait, what are you doing here? I guess... What is going on? It's... all my fault. What? You did this? Hold on, Akihiko. He's not showing any signs of aggression. Now tell us, who or what are you? Turns out, I'm not so different from the creatures you call shadows. You're a shadow? I'm more than just an ordinary shadow. I'm the Apprizer, born from the union of the Twelve Arcana. The Apprizer? I remember everything now. The terrifying truth about the shadows. And about me. I can't... It's all so hard to believe. You know the truth about the shadows? I do. What? The shadows are here to facilitate the rebirth of the maternal being. As for the appraiser, it draws the maternal being to it, allowing her to awaken. And the appraiser? That's you? That's right. This maternal being... what is it? She's on a level of her own. No words in our language can describe her. Ten years ago, a man collected hordes of shadows and contained them in a laboratory. That's where I was born. But 
the unification was interrupted, and I awoke before I was complete. After that, Igis took me down, and I returned the favor. Igis? Is this for real, Ryoji? She knew she couldn't destroy me completely, so out of desperation, she sealed me within a child who just happened to be nearby. That child grew up carrying me inside him, and by some twist of fate, he later made his way back here. He even transferred to your school. A transfer student? You don't mean... That's right. I've lived inside him for a long time. But how... And when his persona awakened, the Twelve Shadows did as well. All in order to become one with me. Ryoji, you're the oppressor? And you were inside of him? How the hell do you expect us to just believe all that? That's all my fault. I'm sorry, but there's more I need to tell you. Ryoji-kun! He's completely worn out. Let's let him rest for now. Igus needs us too. We'll pick up where we left off after that. He's awake now. Let's meet tonight on the fourth floor. Got it. All right. I'll see you then. Damn you, Ryoji. <sighs> it looks like we're all here. Are you okay, ryoji kun yeah, I'm okay. Thanks. Besides, I have more to tell you guys. Ryoji-kun. Then allow me to jump right in. We have many questions that need answers, after all. Yesterday, you said the Shadows were here to facilitate the rebirth of the maternal being. Tell us more about this. What happens if she returns? The maternal being is called Nyx. The hell's Nyx? Nyx is the mother of shadows. In ancient times, she bestowed death upon this world. If she awakens, the world will be swallowed by darkness, and all life will perish. All life? Are you saying everyone will die? It'd be more accurate to say that we'll all surrender the will to live. Wait, are, are you talking about the lost? stop it from happening, right? <sighs> what? Don't tell me there's nothing we can do. I'm sorry. Wait, why are you apologizing? Are you saying there's no way to stop it? That's right. You heard the bell. That's when it was all decided. I'm the appraiser. The appraiser of death. The fact that I'm here at all proves the fall is coming. The fall is coming?
when? When will it happen? I don't think you'll live to see next spring. That's barely any time at all! <sighs> what are you guys freaking out about? Nick Schmicks, am I right? All we gotta do is win and we're golden. And we haven't lost a single fight yet, have we? You can't win. When you're up against Nyx, power doesn't mean a thing. It's like trying to fight the inevitable, like death or the flow of time. Nyx can't be defeated. She just can't. What? This is bullshit! This is all so sudden. I was born from a collection of shadows. But now, I have a human form, so I can talk with you, laugh with you, cry with you. It's the gift I received for existing within him, and because of that, I can give you a choice. A choice? Nyx's arrival is unavoidable now, but you can choose to live in peace until she arrives. You just have to kill me. If the appraiser disappears, all recollection of the Dark Hour would go with me, and that would erase any memories of this hopeless reality. There'd be no way for you to remember anything. When the fall comes, it'll happen in an instant. You won't have to suffer at all. We'll forget everything? I'm saying you can go back to your normal lives. And by doing that, you might buy a little time and delay the fall too. Technically, I'm the same as Nyx, so I can't be killed. But thanks to him, there's a part of me that's become human. So if it's done by his hand, then it may be possible. yoji -kun. If you don't kill me, everything will stay just as it is, with no hope for salvation. You'll live every day paralyzed by the fear of your impending death, and I don't want to put you through something like that. This is something only you can do. No one else. Well, I definitely don't want my memories erased. I mean, forgetting all this would be like trying to hide from the truth. Is that really such a bad thing? If you don't do this, all that awaits is despair greater than you can possibly imagine. You don't understand the terror of certain death. Don't make your decision without at least thinking about it first. Uh, why is this happening? You don't have to decide right now. There's still some time. December 31st. New Year's Eve. You have until then to think about it. After that, I'll dissolve into the blackness of the Dark Hour and lose my physical form. Yachi. When Nyx arrives, I'm going to disappear anyway. So please, don't worry about me. I'll be back when New Year's Eve rolls around. Ryuji-kun's presence vanished just now. There's no point in chasing him. He's gone. <laughs> Ryuji-kun. I guess... he'll be back.
I'm sorry. Just a ticket at the window and then walk in to enjoy a film. This may sound silly to you, but I've always wanted to try the whole theater experience. Even though we sat at the end of the aisle, I didn't feel that my view was compromised in the least. It seems a lot of thought goes into the design and construction of a movie theater. To you. I've never felt comfortable enough to come here alone. I'm sure most people don't consider this to be such a big deal. I imagine someone like Yukari would have no reservations seeing a movie by herself. She's likely more suited to riding a motorcycle than I am as well. Yes, you must have seen it when I rode in to provide support for the team. However, that wasn't my original motivation for getting it. With a motorcycle, I can go where I want, when I want, all on my own. You could say it's my modest attempt at rebellion. 
against the many restrictions of my life. After it was damaged, I considered letting go, but ultimately I decided to have it repaired instead. I don't regret it. Even now, I spend my time tuning it whenever I can. Together? Just the two of us. Can you ride one on your own? Or do you plan to cling on behind me? <laughs> Whichever it is, you've got your work cut out for you. In any case, you have my thanks. I'm feeling a lot better now. You know, I have to wonder, when my parents went through stressful times, maybe they had moments like this too. Sorry, I know this isn't the proper place to stand around chatting, but if it's alright with you, why don't we stay here a bit longer before heading back? Mm-hmm. 
relax to the sound that goes around and round and round and round. She said, Hey, hey really? Feeling the fire with the burning desire every day. We aspire, but never mm. expires. But we will chill. Um, listen. <laughs> Kurocha looks so comfy. You sure know your way around a brush. Oh, you might know something about this. Lots of people like to give Kurochan gifts whenever he goes for a walk. Do you know where he's keeping them? I see. So you're not sure exactly where they are. I wanted to make sure there wasn't any raw food that could go bad. <laughs> Right. You're still in the middle of brushing him. I'll leave you to it then. Sorry to drag you along on this personal venture. <sighs> no, not exactly, but thank you. Looking through the literature section made me realize something. There are so many books about romance, but far fewer on the domestic life that comes after it. I wonder if that means the most exciting time in one's life comes prior to the wedding. Does everyone go into marriage with the expectation of losing something? The truth is, the group is in turmoil over the inheritance issue. And some of the older members are of the opinion that a student like me isn't up to the task. But I'm the daughter of the head of the group. 
I need to show that I can take the lead, even if I have to make sacrifices to do it. Uh, fiance has been chosen for me. He's the new president of one of our affiliates, and he's much older than me. But if I agree to the marriage, the future of the company will be secured. He's planning to announce the partnership and our engagement at the same time. Doing so will give the appearance that the company is stable both inside and out. This is the best solution for everyone involved. Well, of course you didn't. You're the only person I've told so far. My mother and father walked the same path, so... I won't run from my fate. Uh, <laughs> you shouldn't make promises you can't keep. What could you possibly do? Still, though, hearing you say that almost makes me want to believe. Recently, I've been feeling a little hesitant about meeting up with you like this. I already made the decision to carry out my duty, but whenever I talk with you, my resolve begins to falter. Why do I feel this way when I'm with you? I think it would be best if we left off here for today. Sorry to do this after inviting you out here, but I need to head home and go over some paperwork on the partnership. Excuse me. Are my requests. I will await a report of success. Oh, yes. Await a report of success. Very well, then.
accepting a request. Let's hear the results. accepting a request? Have you gotten used to battling with a persona? Very well then. I'm going to do it. Good, good. Not bad, kid. Thanks, kid. But... Thanks for coming all the way here for this. Glad to hear that. I wanted someplace quiet to talk. I just came from the hospital. After this, I have to pick my sister up from preschool, go shopping, cook dinner, do laundry. There's still so much I have to do. Sure is. But I can handle it. My mom had to do all this every single day. <sighs> Remember how I told you I had a chance to win that scholarship? Turns out I can't practice anymore. I just don't have the time for it. Besides, even with the scholarship, we still can't afford college. <laughs> I mean, we don't even have enough to survive. I already lost dad, and now mom can't work. It's up to me to earn a living. <sighs> I have no choice but to give up track. Why'd you have to die, Dad? I 
wish I could have taken you on one last time. I just wanted to run one more time. One last run at some big event. Just one more time. Is this really how it ends for me? You're right. I've come too far to give up now. I'm gonna compete. Even if it's my last time, I wanna win. I've dedicated most of my life to track and field. It's time to put everything I've learned to the ultimate test. I'm glad we could talk. Everything feels a lot clearer now. Because of you, I have something to aim for. Thanks, man. Sister's probably waiting for me. See ya. Morning. Yeah.
I'm sorry. I think I've acquired a taste for fast food. Just the other day, I had the urge to ride my motorcycle out at night to buy some. <laughs> it's your fault that I'm having these temptations now, you know. <sighs> Do you remember when I told you I was hesitant to meet up with you like this? I'd like it if you could forget I ever said that. We both sleep under the same roof. There's no point in stressing over it. And besides, I just need to steal my resolve. Say, I have just one favor to ask. Could you continue to show me new places like this? Just until graduation. I'd like to see more of this world that I've been so blind to. Or is that too selfish a request? Thank you. Let's make some wonderful memories with what little time we have left. You've taught me so many new things. Whether you're taking command in battle or just talking with me like this. As long as I have these memories of you, I'll be all right. Or so I hope. Now then, the day is still young. You promised me your time. I'd like you to make good on that now. Seriously?
plus. I'd been interested in seeing that film for a while now. It was a fascinating watch. While the road trip plot was nothing out of the ordinary, the way the characters expressed their emotions was masterful. When the main character left everything behind to go on a journey, that really struck a chord with me. <sighs> and then in the final scene, he decided to return to his normal life. I wonder if he was happy with that decision. Say, have you ever thought of running away to a place like that? Somewhere far away where no one knows who you are? I see. So you feel that way too sometimes. I'm not saying I wish to leave everything behind. It's just that every now and then, the things that matter are the very things that hold you back. The future of the company, the weight of my responsibilities. Sometimes I even wish that I wasn't shackled by the Carrillo family name. <sighs> I know. I understand that I can't afford to think this way. Listen to me complaining like this. How pathetic. Talking to you has become something of an outlet for me. <laughs> I'm sure you're sick of it by now. That's very kind of you. The offer is quite tempting. I hope you know what you're getting into. While we're on the topic, there's something I'd like to ask you. <sighs> Hypothetically, let's say that I was interested in someone right now. I knew I could never be with him, but even so, I couldn't help but harbor these feelings. Would that be wrong? Uh, keep in mind, this is a what-if scenario. Up to me. Ah, uh, there you are. Hey, Mitsuru! I've been looking all over for you. So this is where you've been. Come on, let's go. What? Wait a minute. Uh, I didn't make any plans with you for today. What does it matter? I managed to secure an opening in my schedule tonight. I'm a very busy man, you know. As a simple student, you're just going to have to work around it. I can't. I've already made plans. Do you know how long I spent looking for you? Don't tell me you have something more important to do than spend time with me. <laughs> Why the long face? You're supposed to be my fiancé, you know. Honestly, I thought you understood our arrangement. If you're going to be my future wife, you'll need to learn some obedience. Why must you and your family always be so difficult? Well, at least your father's not around anymore, so that's something of a relief. I imagine you feel the same. How dare you say that! Thank you. Who the hell are you? This is none of your business. Get lost. Come on, Mitsuru. You know how this works. Corporate management is not child's play. No matter how smart you are, you're still going to need my knowledge and experience. And the Kirijo group still needs the cooperation of my company. Doesn't it? <sighs> yes. Good girl, Mitsuru. I knew you would listen to reason. Now, let's go. 
I've made reservations for us at a luxurious restaurant. All right. I wish you hadn't seen that. Thank you for today. It was quite fun. I'm sorry. Really. Please excuse me. It's all right. I appreciate the sentiment, though. Come on, Mitsuru, hurry up. By the way, you... Who do you think you are worming your way into her favor? You ought to know your place in society. A commoner like you isn't even fit to breathe the same air. Don't you understand? You're just a nuisance. <laughs> Unbelievable. There's a world of difference between you and us. Mitsuru, take care not to associate with his kind anymore. Enough. Mitsuru? I said that's enough! I won't let you insult him! W what? W why are you getting so angry? This is someone I have a great deal of respect for. If you insult him, you insult me! M mitsuru w What are you saying? You would side with him over me? You said there was a world of difference between you and him. Well, you're right. You can't compare to him at all. He stands on his own two feet, challenging fate with his own strength of will. Seeing his outlook on life has inspired and influenced me countless times. I... I... I want to be with him. Now... And forever. You want to be with him? Now and forever? What are you trying to say? You're supposed to be my fiancé! Are you implying I'm beneath this nobody? Take that back this instant, Mitsuru! It's not too late to ask for forgiveness. Think about the future of your company. I will not apologize. I want to be with him. You're not the one supporting me in my time of need. The group will do just fine on its own. We don't need help from a weasel like you. As of today, we'll have nothing to do with each other. And if you dare to attempt some petty retaliation, then next time you'll have the full might of the group to contend with. Get out of here, you Philistine! I don't want to see your face ever again! Taking up so much of your time. I'll see you at school then.
Yeah. Looking forward to it. A shame. Of course. Are you accepting a request? I don't think anyone will come up here for a while. I leveraged my position on the student council to make it happen. And this is, um, the first time I've ever used my authority for personal reasons. Wait, that's not important right now. What am I doing? What I'm trying to say is, we need to talk. Firstly, I have to apologize. I'm sorry for what happened last time. <gasps> oh, so it did. When that happened, um, I said all manner of things about you, and then I just ran off. That was unbelievably insensitive of me. I'm sorry. I had been planning on telling you my feelings. I just didn't think I'd end up shouting them in public like that. What? Well, I mean... Um, ever since I started spending time with you, my life has been full of new experiences. I felt shock, joy, even outrage. But every time always been thinking of you. <sighs> now that it's come to this, I'm obligated to tell you exactly how I feel. <sighs> Here goes. I... I... love you. I 
feel like I'm going to die of embarrassment. <gasps> you love me too? I... I'm so happy to hear that. Or should I say, I'm thankful? <sighs> My heart... <sighs> At this rate, it's going to end up like last time. It really is wonderful, though, to know that the feeling is mutual. <laughs> I'm glad I managed to open my heart. As of today, you're more than just a friend to me. That said, given my situation, I can't go public about this just yet. About this for a while now, but the way you address me. Yeah, that's exactly what I mean. You're on a first name basis with me while I've been sticking to formalities. It's a bit unbalanced. All right, I've decided. From now on, when it's just the two of us. I'll call you by your first name. It's going to be a bit awkward for me, but trust that this is what I want. In any case, today marks a change. I'm not going to let myself be constrained by my family heritage. It's because of who I am as an individual that I ended up meeting you. Ugh, look at all these things you're making me say. You'd better take responsibility for this. This is a start. Don't let go just yet. Hey. Yeah. Sorry to bother you like this. I just had a hard time focusing when I tried doing my homework alone. Thank you for agreeing to study with me. <laughs> Koromaru says he'll study with us too. Right, boy? <laughs> it must be tough for you guys having to think about tests at a time like this. Huh? You're actually enjoying this? Even in the face of grave danger, you never give up. You fight back with all your might. Like a hero! That's so cool! Still, the only thing we can do is carry on and complete our schoolwork as always. What's the matter, Koromaru? Huh. He's got something in his mouth. Did you bring this here for us? <laughs> Thanks, Koromaru. I guess he's trying to cheer us up. I shouldn't make him worry so much. Okay, time to study. If I have any questions, can I ask you for help? And done. That's it for my homework. Oh, you're still studying, aren't you? Is it 
okay if I stay here for a little while? I'll be sure not to bother you. Koromaru and I will be cheering you on. Good luck. Are you all done now? Cool! Koromaru is with us the whole... Wait, what? Where did he go? Were you waiting for us to finish? I guess it's our turn to hang out with him. Thanks for studying with me today. If you're okay with it, I'd like to do this again sometime. This is Elizabeth speaking. I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. It seems that a path that had been blocked off is now open. I thought it prudent to inform you. Well then, I wish you a safe journey. Hello. Right. I know what you want to say. Our maid staff assisted with the furnishings. I recognize it's a bit beyond standard for a dorm room. It's almost like a second lounge, isn't it? <laughs> Yukari says that to me all the time. Oh, I almost forgot. Here, I want you to have this. It's the key to my motorcycle. I'm not going to run from my future anymore. Rather, there's no longer any need to. I don't have to think of my motorcycle as a means of escaping my feelings. Though I do regret that I won't be riding it as often anymore. I'd rather ride with you. Of course, you'll have to sit on the back until you get your license. When this is all over, I'll teach you how to ride yourself. I'll be looking forward to it. Is that so? Well, if that's what you prefer, I suppose. <laughs> Still, I'd like to be the one holding on to you now and then. <sighs> it's still a bit embarrassing to call you by your first name. But when we're alone, no one else can hear me. Your name is more than just a name to me. It's something special. If I were in danger, it would be my last desperate call for help. Uh, right. So, um, I... I want to be with you tonight. Will you stay with me? I am thou. Thou art I. The bomb thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the Empress Arcana hath been set free. We now bestow upon thee the ultimate form 
of the Empress within thyself. This really is embarrassing. All right. It looks like everyone's here now. Well, it's been a week. What's our plan? You okay, Fuka? You're just so calm, Yukari-chan. I mean, panicking's not gonna solve anything. Besides, it's been such a drag around here all week, and no one will go to Tartarus. You're absolutely right. We humans are quite resilient. With enough time, we can adapt to any situation. So, how about it, everyone? It's time we discuss this. Have you made up your mind, Sonata-san? No, but I don't plan on running away. So you're going to fight Nyx? I don't know. I mean, it supposedly can't be defeated. What about you? What are your thoughts on it? Honestly, this is the first time I've ever really contemplated my own death. In any case, we have to choose one way or the other. I obviously don't want to suffer, but that means we have to take a life. Not to mention we die no matter what we do. Then, do we all agree that we don't want to hurt Ryoji-kun? Is that how you feel? Me? Um... That's fair. I mean, it's not exactly normal to pick how you're gonna die. What about you, Junpei? Have you decided? Nah. What's the matter? Scared? What the hell is wrong with you? You think this is a joke? Junpei, I... It's, it's death we're talking about here! Of course I'm scared! And here you all are, just chatting it up like it's a goddamn picnic! Can't you see? We're all gonna die! Then what do you think we should do? Do you want to kill him? There's nothing I can do! He's the only one who can kill him! Hey! <sighs> this whole thing is your fault! You had that thing inside you and didn't even know it! You raised it, damn it! If it weren't for you, none of this would have happened! Junpei! You're supposed to be special, right? Then do something about it! Stop it, Junpei! It's not his fault! And the only reason we even have a choice is because he carried it! Damn it, I know! It's just, it doesn't matter how many times I tell myself. I know this doesn't fix anything. It scares the hell out of me! I know how you feel, Junpei-kun. We're all scared. I'm scared too. Me too. I've never felt so cornered in my life. <sighs> I can't stop shaking. Same here. We're all in the same boat. And hey, I'm sorry for teasing you earlier. I just don't want to forget everything. I've learned so much since coming here. Yukatan, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to yell at you like that. I don't think any of us can blame you right now, Junpei. So don't worry about it, right? You got nothing to be sorry for. I knew the truth, deep down. But still, sorry for being a dick. All right. Let's put a pause on any unnecessary gatherings for now. Ryoji said he'll be back on New Year's Eve. Let's just try to go about our lives until then. We have some time, so let's consider our options while we still can. Sorry. So...
I'm so lucky I get to eat such amazing food. Should I bring some home? If I do, I'd have to pay for it. Hmm. Yeah, I will. It feels wrong being the only one who gets to eat. Oh, by the way, about my mom. She's gonna be out of the hospital soon. Just when I was finally getting the hang of taking care of everyone myself. And guess what else? My teammates offered to help me with the kids, too. They even said to pick my sister up from preschool. I guess everyone's been worried about me. And there I was, total tunnel vision, trying to do everything on my own. In the end, maybe it was my fault the team couldn't work together. <laughs> Honestly, that's reassuring to hear from you. I feel a lot better about everything, now that I know how everyone really feels. I'm having fun just running laps. Body feels light as a feather now. Oops, guess I kind of started rambling there. Sorry, but I gotta get going. Take it easy. And don't forget, I'm only able to focus on training again because you had my back. And I feel great, so thanks, buddy. Back. 
I think. That section won't be covered on the exam. Oh, uh, sorry. I'm having some difficulty concentrating. Guess that's to be expected with everything going on. I'm not immune to it either. Sorry. I know we're the ones who invited you to study, but... Well, just look at us. You're so relaxed, it's almost scary. If you're hiding how you really feel, I'd say you're doing a good job of it. But in your case... Yes, I doubt it's an act. This is just who he is. Well, we can't let ourselves be outdone now, can we? Rain or shine, this is still the last exam we'll ever take as high school students. All the more reason to give it our all. You're right. There's no excuse for slacking. It's time to prove what these last three years have led up to. Ooh, I see the fire in your eyes. At this rate, I may have to relinquish my position as top student. That said, test results are but a single measure. What truly matters is that we continue to improve ourselves. May we both make this a triumphant finale to our time here. <laughs> and who's the one who stoked the flames? I expect you'll see this study session through to make up for that. Well, I think we've dallied enough. We'll need to make up for lost time. Whoa. Didn't realize so much time had passed. Guess I was in the zone. I don't think I've been able to focus this well in a long while. I've just finished reviewing the material. Serious? <laughs> Not even close. But I guess that means we've earned a bit of your respect back. We're almost through this. Keep at it, you two. Cool. Guess that's that. Now all we gotta do is ace the exams.
casa. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Registering, I see. Is overriding acceptable? I've completed registration. Are you... Which will you choose? This persona is powerful. This persona is powerful. What do you wish to inherit? It appears it will receive an... So it begins. my requests. Let's hear the results. Oh my, you've already... Burger from Wild Duck. 
No love. It's hard to stay married. But they said not to worry, because they would love me no matter what. So I told them it's okay if they get divorced. It must be hard to live with someone you don't love. Hey, so I have to choose if I want to live with mom or dad. Who do you think I should pick? My dad. He always buys me toys and stuff. Mom cries all the time now. I don't want her to be all alone. Maybe I should go with her. Oh, if I go with Mom, I might have to move somewhere far away. And then I won't be able to play with you anymore. It's no fair. I miss you too much. Better get home. Hey, will you hold my hand on the way home? actually able to keep up with me on my training regimen. I'm impressed. <laughs> so, what do you think? Well, the reason I asked you to join me today is... We finally found you, Akihiko Sonata. We've had a good run up until now. Today's where it ends. Don't feel bad about screaming if you gotta. No one's coming to save you, though. These guys just don't know when to quit. There's no getting away this time. Not for you, and not for your chicken shit buddy, either. Not that it'd matter anyway. You guys live at the dorm nearby, don't you? Yeah, we saw some girls there. And a kid, too. Sure hope they're keeping safe. <laughs> Stay back. I'll create an opening so you can escape. If you're going after my friends, then I'll be your first obstacle. Come on. Make your move. 
Don't you know what'll happen if a trained guy like you hits an amateur? The boxing team will be suspended, and you'll be expelled. Or worse, you'll go to prison, and your life will be over. Is that what you want? Huh? That is true. I can never do something like that to my supervisor. Or my boxing teammates. <laughs> but even if that's how I feel, I can't back down now. I'll carry that responsibility and pay for it the rest of my life if I have to. I will protect what's important to me. That's why I have these fists. Ah, what the hell are you going on about? Oh. <laughs> All right then, I'll trust my back to you. Just try not to hurt him. I'm sure you can handle that. Cocky little bastards! Looks like that does it. That was quite the challenge considering their numbers. Are you alright? Don't ever show your face around here again. If I ever hear you're threatening my friends, you know what'll happen next. G got it! Come on, it's getting cold. Plus, someone might have called the police. Let's go to my room for now. Well, I'd like to put out some tea, but I have to take these off first. They're more than just fashionable. These hand wraps protect my hands and wrists. Not only do these protect me, but they can affect the power of my punches depending on how I wrap them. Whether my fists deal damage or not depends on these. I guess they're like my partners in the ring. Anyways, make yourself comfortable. So, the reason I asked you to join me today, it's because I wanted you to know what I've been working on. I spent a lot of time training and gaining more experience. And I thought I'd finally reached a point where I could feel confident in my abilities. But after hearing what the appraiser said, I felt afraid. I felt anger too. Knowing that all the training I'd put myself through was meaningless. I told myself I'd face things head on. But I'm still as weak as I was before. Tell me, do you think I'm strong enough now? I'd like to think so, but I did lose my way. Everyone loses confidence in themselves from time to time. And that's when their weakness rears its ugly head. Being on the verge of grasping something, but grappling with the fear and frustration of losing everything again. <laughs> it's so hard to overcome. And it's a feeling I understand all too well. I know we've pushed this crucial decision on you. And I can only imagine how hard that must be. But try not to blame Junpei and the others. <laughs> you really are strong, you know that? Anyway, as someone who is there too, I just wanted you to know. No matter what you decide, I'm still gonna do what I have to do. I've faced off against countless opponents to get where I am now. If I said all my training was meaningless, then that would be spitting on all of their efforts too. And that would be absolutely unacceptable. Wouldn't you agree? Sorry, I didn't mean to go on a tangent like that. Not only did I ask you to join me today, but you got dragged into my fight too. <laughs> I've got to at least pay you back for that. I'm pretty sure my special protein blend is around here somewhere. Oh, that. 
I was thinking of sending that back to my parents when I write them a New Year's card. We don't know how the future's gonna turn out. It's better if it doesn't stay with me. <laughs> You're one unusual guy. I was thinking this during the fight earlier, but for some reason, I feel like I can trust you to watch my back. Together, we can overcome anything. For a long time, all I cared about was having the power to protect others. And I thought being hard on myself and competing with others was the only way I was going to do that. Although, it is true that I've gotten more capable through my reckless approach. But now, there are others who fight alongside me. So I have people who I want to protect. But at the same time, I want them to be there fighting with me. In the end, it's because I have all of you that I feel like I can become even stronger. I still don't know if I'm strong or kind enough to deserve this medal, but this is my starting point. And it's something that I should keep with me. You've taught me another valuable lesson today. Now, where to put this? Oh, sure. <laughs> I did it, Miki. It's a huge honor. I'll fight to protect it like a champ, guarding his title. I may not be very good at motivating people with words, or communicating how I feel, but you can trust I'll never back down from a fight. Even if I'm battered and on the ground, I'll get back up every time. I'll never give up. That's my duty to all of you. So you can count on me. I swear I will protect you. That being said, there's still so much I owe you for. I'll be doing what I can to pay back that debt. I haven't really thanked you for all your help until now, either. Ah, right. I was going to at least thank you for what you did today. Hmm. Damn. Looks like I'm out of protein powder. What else do I have? Ah, here. You can have these dumbbells. Just a minute. I'll get them ready for you. You could change the weight on these ones to match whatever your muscle strength is. In your case, I'd start with... 8 kilos. No, actually, I think you can handle 10. You could also use a machine. But you gotta do some resistance training with free weights, too. for that scholarship was yesterday. Are you seriously asking me that? I got first place, of course. Well, what'd you expect? But really, thanks. I guess this means it's really over. Running track, I mean. Kind of makes me feel empty inside. I'm thinking of finding a job, actually. Not to sound dramatic, but I want to do it to protect my family. I know where, too. My dad had connections at a car factory, so I'll apply there. Thing is, it's 
pretty far away. Go ahead and order extra noodles. It's on me. Yeah, eat as much as you want. You helped me figure a bunch of things out, you know. I always blamed school or my family for everything. I was using it as an escape from my own responsibilities. I really lucked out by meeting you. If I hadn't, I'd still be stuck in that same hole. And I'll never forget that. Well, I better start packing. A lot of goodbyes to get through and not enough time. We should grab a bite again after school soon. Who knows how many chances we'll get after this. Ramen's just too good to pass up, right? Well, it got some new things in stock. Check it out if you have what you want. Great, it's all yours. Everything, it's all yours. All right then. Everything, great, it's all yours. All done here. Be seeing ya. Kirijo Senpai say we shouldn't be hanging out like this? Think she'll be mad if she finds out? I kind of doubt it. But I won't deny that seeing you all does remind me of recent events. Right. Well then, why don't we just call it a wrap here? Um, Sonata Senpai? I'd like to ask for some help with this question. Oh, uh, wait, Jinpei-kun! I wanted to ask you... Uh, um... I think I'll take Koromaru for a walk. Hey, wait! We'll all take him on a walk when we're done. You can sit back down, amata -kun. Hmm? Oh, uh... <laughs> I guess you found out. I was planning on inviting you too, Mitsuru-senpai. I do understand that we don't have time for chit-chat, but... I just... wanted to spend time with everyone. Um... Uh this was actually my idea. I was the one who wanted to gather everyone. So, I'm sorry. I don't want everyone to get in trouble for my selfishness. <sighs> hey, 
You shouldn't be the only one that has to apologize. I feel the same way, Fuka. Thanks, Yukari-chan. It's just... when I think this might be the last... Um, in any case, I apologize for this. Let's just call it for today. <sighs> Thank you. After warning you all, I wasn't sure how to go back on it. I was actually taking a walk to mull it over. Yukari, Yamagishi... I feel the same way you do. Uh, you did say we should try to go about our lives for now. You hear that, Junpei? Let's get to it. If we're talking my life, studying's the last thing I'd be doing. Mitsuru-senpai, could you help me with this? <laughs> of course. What question did you need help with? we've been studying. Time really flies when we're all in it together. I agree. Thank you for going along with my suggestion, everyone. You think so? I hope everyone else feels the same way. By the way, I hope you haven't forgotten about taking Koromaru for a walk. Uh, of course not. Come on, everyone, let's go. That'll be it for studying, then. Everyone, make sure to give it your all on the exams.
you go on ahead to the shrine. I'll grab us some takoyaki. Sweet. Be right there. Got some uh, takoyaki. And this one's for you. Come on, look at these eyes. Why would you ever suspect me like that? It's messing around. To be honest, this is kind of an apology for the other day. You know, back when I blew up at you. One pack of takoyaki ain't gonna make up for it, but it's better than nothing, right? <laughs> Thanks. And still, I felt like words weren't enough for an apology. I took my anger out on you, and you totally didn't deserve that. It's because I really wanted to take out my anger on someone else. Remember when I mentioned I was visiting someone at the hospital? And how I pissed her off, but I didn't know what I did wrong? I, uh, I think I get it now. A while back, I was asked what I'd be doing with my life in two years. By Chidori. And being the insensitive dumbass I am, I said something like, eats me for a long time. I didn't even understand how it must have felt for her to ask me that. So it's no wonder she got upset. She was facing something really scary. And there I was, acting like it was no big deal. The other day, and everyone was all calm and chatting about what Ryoji said. It put everything into perspective. When it finally hit me, I lost my shit and snapped at you. I'm really sorry about that, man. Hey, come on, eat up. Don't want cold takoyaki, do you? Ooh, that was tasty. And it's not too bad cold either. Hey, by the way, have you decided what you're gonna do on the 31st yet? that means you have some idea. Look, man, me and the others might tell you all kinds of stuff, but whatever we say, go with your own gut. You've dealt with enough as it is, you know? I've always been jealous of you. You're a special dude, and everyone's always counting on you, but at the same time, I knew you were the one making all the tough calls. You're always looking out for everyone around you. Even people like me. Sure, I was jealous, but watching you? I knew I could never be you. So, I figured maybe it's time you chose what you wanted to do for a change. Besides, forgetting everything doesn't exactly sound so bad, does it? I mean, I obviously wouldn't like that. It sucked to forget everything. But that's just how I feel. You should follow your feelings. Whatever you choose, I won't let anyone tell you otherwise. All right, that's enough serious stuff. Chats like this make my throat all dry. Or maybe it's just a takoyaki. Let's grab a drink somewhere and head back. Is that okay with you, Mr. Leader? Right. 
Zeit. What's up? Is that your dog? Wow, oh, he looks like a smart one. Unlike his owner. <laughs> I'm just joking. So, how's life, man? And I love how the girl in that show has this mature vibe. You know what I mean? Whoa, looks like this guy's had his fair share of fun. Guess we should start heading home then. See you at school. Stop by very often, Senpai. Is something wrong? No, not particularly. Is this a bad time? Oh, are you feeling lonely? Hey, are you teasing me? Nah, I'd never. <laughs> sure. I wonder what this Nyx is like. Do you think it's inside Tartarus? I have no idea. Oh, by the way, I've made my decision. I want to fight to the end. It's better than doing nothing. That's why you're here, right, Senpai? You got me. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty easy to read. I've made my decision as well. The Kirijo group is slowly regaining its footing. After I graduate, the plan is for me to eventually take over as leader. Turning back was never really an option for me. But what if you die? If we can defeat Nyx and I die in the process, then the company will continue on without me. And I'm confident they'd carry on my wishes. But from what we've heard, Nyx can't be defeated. Though I kinda wonder about that. We've got someone on our team who seems pretty unkillable too. That's true. And he's an exceptional Persona user, even if death was empowering him from within. He's an interesting guy, huh? He certainly is. You know, if things don't work out, I think I'll still be okay as long as I'm with everyone. Honestly, I don't think it matters if we live or die. All that really matters is that we're proud of how we lived. And I know I'd be proud if we decided to fight Nyx. Is this about honoring your father's legacy? Yeah, that's part of it. But mostly, it's about me and how I feel. I understand. 
Senpai, a while back, you asked me to face what comes next with you. You didn't forget, did you? I could never forget. We'll fight together, Yukari. Good. Glad we can meet up one more time before I take off. I told you last time, right? I'm getting a job. The factory's way out west, so I'm moving into a dorm there. I've already sent my luggage. Now I just gotta send myself. My mom started crying and blaming herself. But I'm the one who wants to do this. This is a new chapter in my life. Guess I should say goodbye to this ramen, too. Well then, I better get going. Sure, then let's head to the station. Hey. Here, take this. I want you to hang on to that. Well, it's a car key, obviously, but it's not just any car key. It's the key to my dad's car. I've been keeping it for good luck. Sometimes I get pretty pissed that he's not around anymore. My life wouldn't have been so complicated, you know? I could have enjoyed track more. I wouldn't have had all that pressure to be the best. But by blaming him like that, I was just running away from my problems. That's why I want you to have it. I don't want to risk running away again. If I know you have it, I'll be able to stand on my own two feet. Then, next time we meet, I can still be proud of who I am. <sighs> Thank you. We'll see each other again someday.
away. Class is starting. more than just rice balls. I started learning how to cook because I wanted to thank everyone for what they've done for me. But only knowing how to make rice balls isn't going to cut it. I told myself I needed to do something more, but then I started to doubt myself again. That's when I thought of you. So what I'm saying is, um, I'd like you to help me for just a bit longer. And I'd really appreciate it if you could keep giving me your advice. I promise I'm going to do the best I can. So, can I count on you? Really? Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. Thank you. I just want to thank everyone for helping me find my place in the world. I know I don't seem very reliable, but I want to make myself a useful member of the team. <laughs> it feels so reassuring to have your support. More than anything, though, I want to keep learning. For your sake, too. I'd like to be able to help you with more than just fighting. Um... 
I was wondering, you don't think I'm... I'm overdoing it, right? Sorry, I guess I'm the only one who can answer that. I'm going to head back now. it is. We'll be right here, so go play all you want, okay? Recently, I found a recipe for a cake that you can bake with nothing but a microwave. You know, since it's almost Christmas, I wanted to try making something to get in the spirit of things. And depending on the ingredients I use, I might even be able to give some to Korochan. <laughs> Welcome back! Huh? He's holding something in his mouth. Hmm. I wonder where he keeps finding all this. Oh no, Kurochan! Your butt's all dusty now! I guess we should take a bath together again. <laughs> Let's head back. Morning. This is Elizabeth. I am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. Two this time, I believe. Please swiftly and safely conduct a search and rescue. Goodbye now. Well then.
just me, or is the air conditioning in here too high? I feel a little lightheaded. I haven't been feeling well lately. I couldn't even finish my lunch today. I think I may have caught a cold. I'm sorry, but do you think we could go to the pharmacy? I'm going to go get some medicine. I'll be right back. Oh, hey there. Are you on your way over from school? Huh? Well, what do you want? Wow, you're really cute. From this angle, I can see how gorgeous you are in those glasses. Say, you want to maybe sit down in a cafe and chat a little? Um, I... Hey, come on, don't be scared. I'm not going to bite. No, please stop. Uh, senpai. Huh? Who the hell are you? Wait, don't tell me that you're with her. <laughs> well, I thought I had a chance since she looks so plain. Oh, thank goodness. I thought you were going to hit him for a second. I wouldn't want you to get into a fight because of me. But just now, you are so... Um... <sighs> You've already saved me, so I'm not scared anymore. But why am I still shaking? That does make me feel a lot better. Okay. Thank you. I think I'm fine now. Sorry for making you come all the way up here. Uh, sorry, but we might disturb everyone in the dorms. It'll be quick. I was just hoping... Would you have a practice match with me? Right here, right now! It's just, now we're going up against that thing that lived inside of you, right? I thought if we sparred, I could get an idea of how well I would do against it. I trained in secret for a long time, so I could avenge my mom's death. That was the only time I could forget the pain. When I was alone, swinging my spear. But I've changed since then. I want to use this power to help me live my own life. I'd promised that I'd see this through to the end. I have to make good on that. Anyway, I want you to see me the way I am now, senpai. Of course, I don't want us to actually get hurt, so I'll be using this. And this one's for you. Thank you for this. Now then... Please, take this seriously. Otherwise, there's no point. Yeah! <sighs> I 
I never noticed you could see the stars so clearly up here. You were just as strong as I thought, Senpai. I had no chance. At least, now I know where I stand compared to you. I'm alright, but I am glad I decided to use toy weapons. I don't know what decision you'll make in the end, but as long as there's time, I won't stop training. So would you mind if I challenged you again sometime? <laughs> you might be right. Either way, there's not much time left. I'll just have to cram ten years worth of experience into my training. I really like it here. I've made so many memories since coming to this dorm. Both fun and difficult ones. But I feel like living means carrying it all with you and moving forward. I used to think I didn't have a place to call home, but I realized that's not something you get from someone else. Home, my real home, is the place that helps me move forward. That's why I believe fighting to come back here is what Aragaki-san would have wanted. I've learned that everyone at the dorm has their own reasons for staying, and that means I need to do my best too. I never would have figured that out if I didn't have you all behind me. Let's do... <sighs> I like being on the rooftop at night, but maybe it's too cold to be out here in December. Can we talk some more inside? I'd like to go over today's battle before I forget. Oh, and while we're at it, you should say hi to Hamburger too. Maybe it's because it's winter, but his fur's gotten so fluffy and cute. I thought you were going to go visit your mother's grave. Sonata-san. You sure this is where you want to be? Well, I was planning on visiting her, but when I thought about what I was going to say to her, it just didn't feel right. I've still got unfinished business to take care of first. Yeah, I know what you mean. I don't have anything to tell Shinji right now. I've got my own stuff to deal with. An unbeatable enemy, huh? I wonder what it's like. Beats me. It doesn't matter, though. I've already made up my mind. I don't care what I'm up against. I'm gonna look it straight in the eyes. Straight in the eyes. I like the sound of that. You can count me in, too. All right. by himself. He can get along fine without me. So, um, Mom and I are gonna move away soon. <sighs> hey, even if I'm gone, we'll still be friends, right? Mm-hmm, right? 
friends forever. Ever and ever and ever, okay? You can't forget about me. Never, ever, okay? Let's continue exploring. This world is the picture of madness. Let's proceed through this area as quickly as possible. It's a treasure. We can head up.
will do the trick. How about trick? One down. One enemy defeated. I have to do this. Still in Kirito Senpai. Focus. Is there Very well. You're not tired? Then let's be off. We could head back, but it's your call. We've reached the 199th floor. I can't believe there's more than 200. leader. We're at least halfway to the top now.
mistake after this. That was excellent leadership. Keep up the good work. What should we do about the door? It's your call. Oh, can we go up the... Oh, there's a treasure chest! was excellent leadership. Keep up the good work. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Registering personas? Will you register it to the compendium? All registered. Very well. We look forward. There's no room for carelessness. Stay alert. A shadow! Huh. Huh. Excellent. Excellent. We have the initiative! We have the very strong!
victory. Let's do the same thing for our next fight. Do you think the shadows would go stir-crazy from... Shadow spotted. Pay attention next time. I'm still setting up. It'll take a little more time. I'm still setting up. It'll take a little more time.
That chest doesn't look like the others. See that type of enemy. Huh? We've got the mighty shot. Take it down if you can. Two enemies defeated at once.
Now then, let's get back to work. There's a treasure chest. What should we do? Excellent. Look. Victory well earned. A shadow. What will you do? Oh, there's a treasure chest. Nothing about this place even remotely resembles a school at this point. You know what? Doesn't it kind of remind you of a karaoke booth? Is that... Could it be...
Shadows detected. Trust you're not tired? Then let Korochan spotted the enemy! It looks like we're inside a colitis. Even now, enemies continue to block our path. We don't see that kind of chest.
do this. Three enemies! Be careful! different from the others? ground exploring this place. I don't think I could ever do that. Now that you mention it, my stamina's improved. But I still haven't lost weight. Another 
one of those doors. Let's do. Get ready. 
Now you've done it. Here he some place back on your feet. How about this? No, it's time for a fight. Like fish in a barrel. There's no Excellent leadership. Keep up the good work. <gasps> All right, let's continue exploring. you do. Get ready. Now you're 
right. Let's be on our way. Oh, there's a treasure chest! The air's been so dry recently. My lips are all chapped. Now then, let's get back to work. Is that... You're not tired? Then let's be off. No matter how hard I try, I can't think of a single reason for the forest to be designed this way. Perhaps it was designed without...
Shadow, what will you do? There's a trap. Shadow, what will you do? Oh, there's a treasure chest. We can't the to the enemy soon. Yeah. <laughs> 
the jump on them then. What should we do about the door? I can use it now. <laughs> 
the strong one. Be on your guard. Understand the concept of teamwork? I'd say it's pop. Move to strike. Amazing! It's time for it! 
Shall I move to strike? Go! Artemisia! One enemy defeated! Good going, Fury! Just have to do this! Light doesn't seem to be effective! Honestly. Wonderful. Let's hear the results. A shame.
So that's why... Shall we get going? We don't have all night, you know. There's still a curfew. Hey, let's go to Polonia Mall. I hear they're gonna have lights up. Everything must feel so different under that kind of atmosphere. To be honest, I've been looking forward to it. famous designer for these decorations? Here, I have a present for you. It's been a while since I've made something like this. I hope it tastes all right. This is... how did you... Oh, wow, I can't believe it. I owe you big time. Next year, I'm gonna get you something really nice. Thank you. Honestly, when I first met you, I never thought we'd end up spending Christmas together like this. I was just so used to being all on my own. I'm only gonna tell you this because it's a special day, but... I actually always dreamed of doing something like this. I know that with everything going on, it's not exactly the time to be getting all warm and fuzzy. But one night couldn't hurt, right? Just for today. I want to be by your side. Staying out late on a day like this, right? Except for Junpei, I guess. I can't imagine him having a romantic evening out. Ugh, sorry, that isn't the point. I just want to stay with you a little longer. Hey, are you cold? It's chilly, right? Can I come closer? I was hoping you could keep me warm, maybe.
Sure now. Sure. It's a deal. You gotta tell no Sure. It's a deal. What are you looking for? Got some new things in stock. Check it out. If you've got public, what are you looking for? Okay. It's all yours. All right then. All done here? Come back soon. you before I mentioned that I don't really like going to bookstores I had a bit of a bad experience in a bookstore once I think it was at the start of last April someone took a picture of me they accused me of stealing I'm not very tall right so when I was reaching for a high shelf I accidentally knocked some books down. Well, a few of them landed in my bag. I went to take them out and put them back on the shelf. But some girl from my class took a picture of me with her cell phone. She even threatened to show my parents. Thank you. But don't you think I'm stupid for letting this get to me? If I'd just spoken up, I could have settled it right there. I know that, but I... I still couldn't say anything back. All these negative thoughts kept running through my head. I thought no matter what I said, it wouldn't do any good in the end. But now, I want to believe that I can change. Whenever I'm with you, I feel like I don't get swept up in those negative thoughts. I know I'm being selfish, but... Sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm making it sound like I'm just using you, aren't I? Th th that's not what I meant, really. What I'm trying to say is... I've really come to depend on you, and I'm really happy that you're there for me. That's all. to repay you. I should have just discussed my cooking concerns with everyone at the dorm, but somehow I find myself always going to you for help. I want to hear your opinion, but more than that, I feel at ease when you're with me. I wonder why. I I'm sure it's because you're a leader. That's why I depend on you so much. Go back to the dorm. 
I need some time to get my thoughts in order. Could we talk about this again later? <sighs> Thank you. I'm going to head back now. I see you're back.
So then I went to ask about it after class, and you know what happened? Miss Miyahara just wouldn't stop talking. She wrote out some weird math formula and said, it's beautiful, isn't it? All it did was make me more confused than I originally was. <laughs> Guess I'll have to go ask again tomorrow. You think so? I guess it just feels wrong to not try and understand something. Anyways, I decided to start being serious about my future. Remember when I told you about what happened to me at school? It was when I handed in a blank answer sheet for that pop quiz and got yelled at by a coda. Back then, I just wanted to graduate and go to a community college or something. But after coaching those kids, I started to realize something. I enjoy helping people who are willing to give it their all. So, I finally figured out what I want to do with my life. Can you guess what it is? Hmm, close. You almost got it, Mr. Ex-Assistant Coach. I'm thinking of becoming an athletic trainer. It's their job to monitor each athlete's diet and help them plan their training routine. So I'll go to professional school once I graduate and then work towards earning my certification when I turn 20. Between the general education requirements and the classes for my major, it's gonna be over 350 hours. That's why I'm gonna start studying right now. Improving my writing is my first goal. It took me all night to finish that three-page essay, but those kids had a huge influence on me. I know I only agreed to coach them on a whim, but teaching them really made me think. I started wondering what I could teach my own kids one day. And I realized I didn't have the slightest clue. You hadn't been there with me. I don't think I could have stuck it out until the end. And I definitely never would have thought about my future either. So, thanks. Also, I know I'm always asking you to stick around and help me with stuff. I just, I kind of feel bad about it. I'm sorry. I realize now that I might have been relying too much on you. like this just with me? No, no, that, that can't be it, huh? 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 What? <laughs> you mean me? Uh, uh, are, are you sure? I'm not girly or anything like that, you know? What's happening? <laughs> Is this a dream? Um, me, me too. I feel the same way as you do. That's why I'm so happy. Thank you. Uh, I have to go. I've got to study. Um, I'm looking forward to us.
Junbei-kun? Ah, oh, hey, Fuka. What brings you here? Ah, uh, nothing really. I've been coming here a bunch lately. Is that sketchbook... um... Hmm? Oh, yeah. This is where Chidori and I first met. What are you doing here, Fuka? Oh, I went home for a bit. I've been going back a lot recently. Oh, yeah? You know, you've really changed, Fuka. You're a totally different person from when you first showed up. I am? Honestly, you were kind of a wimp before. But now, you're something else. I can't even describe it. You've changed too, Jinpei-kun. Yukatan said the exact same thing, but uh, I just don't see it myself. I mean, just the other day I was freaking out and throwing all that blame around. I'm a real piece of work, aren't I? That's not true. Man, I was so damn scared. I just couldn't keep my shit together. I know. I hate to admit it, but even now, I can't help being scared. You're only scared because you're choosing not to run away. We all feel that way. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Luca. That's why I want to protect everyone. After all, a dark hour is horrifying to think about, isn't it? But our persona's awakened, and we're here now. The future hasn't been written in stone yet, and I want to be true to myself. True to yourself. Hmm. You're really something, Fuka. Let's fight together. Okay. I'm going to do it. Good.
a load of this. Hoping you could watch me as I make the coffee. Thank you. Okay, the beans are freshly ground and accurately measured. The water is about 90 degrees Celsius. Now, the pace and angle when pouring the water are really important. All right, here I go. Pour slowly and quietly in a circular motion. You'll know you're doing it right when it starts smelling really good. It's not exactly what you'd get at a cafe, but I think I've improved a lot. There's so much to consider when making coffee. I get why people are so particular about it. Um, I know it's a bit weird to ask at this point, but when do you feel like drinking coffee the most? Well, that does seem to be common for a lot of people. The taste and smell are a signal to start the day. It's sort of like flipping a switch in your head. When my mom was still alive, the house used to smell like this every morning. Now I realize how often she'd make coffee, even on days she was busy. I saw on TV the other day that smells and memories are linked closely together. The smell of coffee reminded me of my mom. But in your case, I wonder if it'll remind you of the times we spent here, drinking coffee together. In that case, I'd better practice and treat you to another cup while we still have time. It'd be pretty sad if you only remembered my coffee being bitter. I feel like I haven't gotten into something like this for a long time. I also think it's helped me practice staying focused. Maybe it's because I've been doing it so diligently. Anyways, thanks a lot. Because of you, I think I understand the taste of coffee a little better now. Besides, if my mom liked it, I'm sure I will too. Oh, there's still more if you want a refill. I've gotten a lot better now, so I hope you'll join me again sometime. Next time, it's gonna be even better than it was today. far away we're still family so I don't have to be sad family is special do you think I'll have a family of my own one day yeah you're right I hope so um when I'm all 
all grown up, can we get married? <gasps> really? You promise? <laughs> Take this, okay? I made it just for you. Someday, let's get real wedding rings. Try adding some spice today. Go ahead and blend it however you like. Oh, I always find this to be so relaxing. I suppose you could call it a moment of bliss. Let me know whenever you're in the mood for more tea. I'd be happy to treat you.
What is it? So dance. If you wanna go ahead, we can do whatever. I'm chilling on my bed. I'm out in my bed. So mind your own business. Whatever life is, we can flow with the sun. Hey, hey, hey. Feeling the fire with the burning desire every day. We inspire, but never expires. But we will chill today. Let me rock the world yes. tomorrow. Well, we should probably head to bed. Have a good night. Got good news. I guess it's coming back today. Mitsuru Senpai said her injuries are all healed up. We're meeting in the lounge tonight. Don't forget, okay? See ya. I've returned, everyone. Sorry to have worried you all. Man, it's good to see you. It's been a whole month, you know? I was getting nervous. Me too. I was afraid I wouldn't see you again. I'm just a machine. I can always be rebuilt. Even if I'm completely destroyed, my programming data would still exist. Come on, don't talk about yourself like that. I was told she'd need another week for a complete recovery, but I had the work expedited. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused. Mitsuru-san visited me while I was at the lab. I heard what happened. You've all been through so much. Have you been well? Well, given the circumstances, I'd assume not. I'm sorry. I could have done so much more. Ten years ago, I... What I did to you was... <sighs> but if I hadn't done what I did to you, you wouldn't be suffering like this. As for what Ryoji-kun said, have you already made your decision? A favor to ask tomorrow when Ryoji Kun comes back. Please kill him. I can't bear to see you all suffer like this. If you're in this much pain, I beg you, choose to surrender your memories. Even if, even if it means forgetting everything and everyone. I guess what are you talking about? Yeah, seriously. This is not like you. <sighs> what is it, I guess? Why? Why did I come back here? My duty is to protect people from shadows. But now, it's clear that I can't defeat them. But 
am I even doing here? No matter how hard I try, I can't even shed a tear for you. I guess. Why do you try to fight when you know it's hopeless? Why risk everything when it will only lead to suffering? You're all just throwing away your lives! I don't understand. We're not throwing away our lives. In fact, our eyes are set on the future. Isn't that right? Right. I don't understand. Perhaps it's because I lack a life of my own. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with having a life. I'm a machine created to protect humans from shadows. But I can't carry out that duty with the power I have. So what is my purpose now? I just... don't know. And no one can give me an answer. Well, yeah. You don't have the answers. The meaning of life or death isn't something someone else can just teach you. Making your own decisions is hard, no matter who you are. No choice is perfect, you know? But as long as we're alive, we gotta do something. When you see someone going through the same thing you're going through, you just wanna help them. That's how we plan on getting through this. <laughs> Maybe that wasn't the best explanation, but that's the idea. That's... the idea? When I saw you collapse, I realized something. I want to protect you, I guess. I don't want to forget about you. Fuka-san. There are times when you'll lose sight of your purpose and you'll have to search for it. But if you can't find it again, then what you need is to seek out a new purpose. I'm not really one to talk, but... I feel like I've learned something important this year. To truly live is to be willing to change. And we have to make those choices for ourselves. Do you think I'll be able to change too? You have changed so much. Haven't you noticed? You've even started speaking like a real human. I understand what my purpose is now. I'm a machine with the directive to live. And the one issuing this new command is me. I'll stare fear in the face and choose to live. This is the promise I've made to myself. I'm not sure how I'll do it, but perhaps that's a part of living too. Yeah, it sure is. allow me to join you in this fight? You kidding? Of course! You've always been one of us. Thank you. From now on, I stand with all of you, no matter what happens.
Salut! Hey, it's been a while. Midnight's just around the corner. When it hits, I'll lose this form. And I won't be me anymore. So, have you made a decision? Then, I'll be waiting in his room until midnight. Come see me when you have your answer. yoji -kun. Oh, and one more thing. Don't let the fact that you have to kill me influence your decision. Like I said, I'm gonna disappear either way. I don't have any hang-ups about dying, so you don't need to worry about me. <laughs> All right, I'll be waiting. Have you made your decision? I see. Have the rest of you decided? No need to ask me. You know how I feel. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't on board. I'm with the rest of you. I'm on board too. <laughs> I've made my decision as well. Sounds like we're all on the same page. Better let him know then, okay? It's been a long time since we talked like this in your room. Though, back then, I had a different form and a different name. It seems like you all decided to let me live. You're all going to risk your lives on a battle you can't win. But, they're not the ones here right now. You are. I'll say this one more time. If you kill me, Tartarus, the dark hour and the memories of your battles will all disappear. Tomorrow, you'll wake up as a normal high school student. You'll be able to live in peace until the moment of the fall. But if you let me live, you'll spend every waking moment until that day dreading your inevitable death. Nyx can't be defeated. It's pointless to fight her. Are you still thinking? Or have you already made up your mind? So then, you understand. 
I think looking to the future is a great way to live. That doesn't mean other ways of living are wrong. No one knows which road will lead to happiness. I'm really glad I met you. This must be what it's like to feel happy. Thank you for everything. Damn, it's cold. But of course, you never miss a day of school, huh? I'm impressed. Man, this year really flew by. We're practically third years now. Only one more year of high school. You think there's anything interesting on the horizon? Looking at the current third years, I'm not really sure. Pretty much all they do is freaking study. Sure doesn't look like fun to me. Is that what we're gonna turn into next year? Man, why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? Huh. Hey, is that girl looking at us? Dude, she's pretty cute! How come I never noticed her before? What are you talking about? She lives in the same dorm as us. Wait, she does? Uh, what's her name then? I don't know. Then you barely know more than me. Anyway, it's always crazy in the dorms this time of year. With so many people coming and going. Oh yeah, did you hear? Sonata Senpai's moving out. You know him, right? He's the captain of the boxing team. Yeah, not that I really talked to him. And obviously all the graduates are leaving. Kirijo Senpai's getting ready to move too. Kirijo. Oh, the student council president. Uh, she's in our dorm too, huh? Man, what's up with that girl? Hey there! Are you looking at us? Is something wrong? Oh, no. It's nothing. She looked like she had something on her mind, huh? Wait, you think she might be interested in one of us? <laughs> Not a chance. Man, you really know how to hit a guy where it hurts. Next, a word from the valedictorian. From Class D, Mitsuru Kirijo-san. Thank you. This last year, I accepted an important responsibility as student council president. When I first addressed you from this podium, I spoke to you all about seizing opportunity while you had the chance. Well, it must have been fate that intervened and gave me an important reminder of this. As many of you may know, my father unexpectedly passed away due to illness. To tell the truth, after losing my father, I also lost much of my self-confidence. I had overestimated my ability to handle everything alone, because I believed it was the right thing to do. Few people can be that strong. There are times when we can't stand without the support of others. 
After my father's death, I received kind words from many people. You all taught me the value of allowing yourself to be cared for and protected. I hope to continue forward with the support of those around me. For us graduates, it was truly an honor to share the last three years with all of you. Thank you so much for those wonderful years. Man, that sounds rough. I guess even the student council president cries too, huh? Hey, she's not here. Who's not? You know, that girl we saw at the front gate. I thought she'd be at the graduation ceremony, but I guess not. Oh, her? Well, there's a lot of people who didn't show. Actually, I'm surprised you didn't skip. No shows, huh? Man, so that's gonna be us next year? Feels so soon. What are your plans, Yucatan? College? I haven't really decided yet. What about you? Oh, really? That's a surprise. You know how the student council president was crying? I can sort of relate, since my dad passed away too. But that stuff she said about seizing opportunities? Give me a break. How does she expect us to know what to do with that? I mean, yeah, it's important, but... That's more for people who already know what they want in life. Well, at least one of us knows what he wants. You seem to be getting along pretty well with a certain someone, if you know what I mean. What are you trying to say? I don't know. You tell me. <sighs> well, anyway, there's no hurry to decide what we want to do with our lives, right? I mean, I already have so much on my plate right now, you know? Hmm. Yeah. I guess that's true. Here's what I think. If life is all about the pursuit of happiness, then knowing the truth isn't everything, right? Sure, we do what we gotta do, but if we're taking a stand on every little thing, there'd be no end to it. In the end, it doesn't matter how you spend your time, as long as you're happy. No one's gonna fault us for choosing to live in the moment, right? Yeah, guess so. Man, that was some speech. To be honest, I'm not that strong on my own. And when I feel insecure, I get worked up. It's hard to explain, it's just how I am. Hey, I get it. Thinking never really gets me anywhere. When that happens, I just go do something fun and forget about it. <laughs> you would. Everyone's so uptight these days. They just need to chill out. You know, take it easy for a change. What are you gonna do if that plan backfires? I'll figure something out. But for now, let the good times roll. And on that note, who's down for karaoke, anyone? Let's celebrate our future! Celebrating is for the graduates. Well, I'll go if he goes. Hey, what's with the preferential treatment? Well, now you're coming whether you like it or not. I'll buy you a drink, all right?